Yo, what's going on guys? It's Nick here, um, and this is going to be today's actual video. I know I did the video earlier today telling you guys about uh, opening the eggs on stream. So we opened the eggs. Um, a lot of people thought, you know, they were big elves. Um, definitely some of them were. Um, some of them, like the Marshawn Lattimore was a rare grand egg. It was a 95 overall player that went down to like 50k. Um, so definitely, definitely stuff that, you know, you'd like to see a little bit better of, but, um, at the end of the day, they weren't that expensive, and, um, with the reroll method, you know, a lot of them were, were basically done for free, so, uh, that, that's pretty nice, but I just kind of wanted to show you, uh, what all we got, so it started from here, I believe, um, and this is all, all stuff that we packed, everything else I've bought so far, um, just making, making the, the investments here. Um, let's see, we packed all those, and then I bought all these as well to here. Then these were all packed. Just trying to make sure I got all the right things. So I just want to show you, um, we started that reroll method with 339,000 training. And this is what, this is what we got out of all the eggs that we made. Um, Two two million five hundred fifty three thousand training, uh, so about two point one million training profit. Um, so right now training is only about two and a half coins per training, um, but if it goes up to say four coins per training, which is very likely uh, here in the next couple of weeks, it'll it'll there'll be a cycle with the uh, golden ticket leases and ultimate legends. Um, we'll be we'll have made you know if it goes up to four coins per training, we've made about eight million coins. Um, and then after tax, you know, probably about seven point five million or so, um, but it's huge, been huge profit. So even though the eggs weren't the necessarily the best things ever, um, if you did the reroll method and you got your eggs for cheap, you you're not hurting by any means. Um, now I know a lot of people didn't do it on, to the scale that I did it to, um, but even if you're making eight hundred thousand coins. Um, it's basically off of, it's not free because you spend a bunch of time doing it, but um, it's free as far as spending coins goes. But anyway, I wanted to get into some uh, some methods. This is These are kind of the best way to build up your coins right now. Um, it's kind of tough to build up your coins, but, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys the best way to do it. So um, first things first, uh, especially if you have cheaper coin accounts, uh, I'm going to start with like what you can do at the lowest level and then work up to the highest level so um let's see so first off uh the, the first thing you can do is i'm gonna say first about 19 times apparently but uh go into your binder and check your power-ups because uh what these what these cards have done is um with with the uh demand for these higher cards because everybody is ready to build their teams now everybody's saved to buy till today um, the supply has just gone insane of the higher rated cards. The demand for the higher rated cards has gone insane. But then with, once they get the higher rated cards, then there's also a demand for the power-ups. Well, the supply of the higher cards kept up to where it dropped prices down, but the supply of the power-ups is not kept up at all. Um, so you can find power-ups in your binder. Um, there's some that I need to go through myself, like... Uh, it, it'd be cards that got like theme builder cards. So uh, let's see, Simeon Rice. So he's about you could probably sell him for about forty eight hundred, um, which isn't great. But there's some of them that are like twenty five thousand coins. Uh, there's one right there. So Anquan Bolden's like twenty five thousand. Uh, I don't I don't know off the top of my head any of these prices. So Will Shields is probably up there. Um, so if you can go in and look at these these power up prices and and list them, um, it's just they're they're pretty easy coins right now with with the uh, increased prices here. So um, that's that's the first thing I would do is go check your binders, make sure you don't have any of these. I know Gilbert Brown was like twenty thousand earlier. I don't know what he is now. He's at four thousand again. I think I sold him for like twenty two thousand. But um, so just go through. I of course have you know 500 <laughs> power up cards, um, but just go through and and see ha see the prices on all of them, list them up, um, and that's going to lead us into uh, what to do 
to get some of these power-ups. Um, and again, this is for, especially for like the lower, lower coin accounts. So go into these challenges here. Uh, and then you're going to want to go to the, there's the power-up challenges, which you can check all of these cards that you can get their power-ups. Um, you can check their prices. Uh, so definitely recommend that. Check their prices, and then if if any of them are you know over like five k, then do the challenge and and sell the the power up. Um, the other ones you can do are these ultimate legend ones, um, especially like that waters. Uh, that waters was week one, I believe. Um, it's gonna kick me out of the servers now. Sweet. Okay, that waters was week one, but if you go in and you do that challenge, you'll get you'll get a Brian Waters power up. Um, so going through and doing all the, especially the most expensive ones, the ones that are 20K plus, if you find you know four or five of those, you make 80 to 100K just playing a couple solo challenges. Uh, and you can, you only have to get one star to get those. So maybe you're not even allowed to play it. <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, never, never ran into that problem before. But that's that's one way to get them. Uh, the next way is uh, if you have if you have a little bit of coins um, built up, say you, you do that and then you build up a little coins, you can do this uh, get a player pack, which I I've never done a method on. I'm, I'm sure 90 percent of people are aware of this method. Um, basically, you do the get a player packs. You take take the players you get, you put them in the exchange sets, and you work your way up. And then once you get to like a certain level, like you get a uh, you can build either you can build up to like superstar cards and build superstar players. You can build up to gold cards and build um, build. Let's see, build elite players uh, and then sell those off. You can do all kinds of different things with these exchanges. So basically, all you're doing is just the ones that don't have any value. You just you just keep exchanging. I would actually do the 77 to 78 set most of the time, um, but. Since the uh, since there's more power-ups even in the 75 to 79 set, I'll go ahead and exchange there. Um, here we go. We got another. We got a Dunbar. Now some of these cards here too. You want to check the prices on these. Um, these are similar to the um, similar to the power -up cards in that they got they're needed for the the power powering up the players. So um, make sure you're checking the prices on those. I I haven't actually really checked the prices on mine, but um, let me let me go do that real quick just to just to double check. So hopefully, let's see, let's just do quality seventy five to seventy nine. And I know I have like um, some Darren Wallers, um, that that sort of thing. Raheem Mostert that's seventy eight overall. I'm not sure if they're going to be up in price, but yeah. See, this is at 2800, but it just got listed. So, even getting 4800 out of these, if I can, if I, I think I have four or five of them. That's, I mean, it's 20k. Um, these are just easy coins that might be sitting in your in your binder that you you might think are binder trash, but even if you're getting 2200, man. Uh, but you can just build up to these these cards here, uh, elite cards, of course. You can build up to. Um, it's all. All good, good stuff to be doing with your coins. Um, like you see, yeah, TJ Watt. If you're getting the cards that are the Theme Builder two MVPs, um, you know the Tyreeks, the Mahomes, the Lamars, everything that came out in these eggs is has a little bit of value to it increased. So, uh, like I have these TJ Watts here. Well, I can I can list those up. I don't know about Grady Jarrett. He has a Team of the Year card. Uh, I don't know if it's that desirable, but. Even that, I mean, still four thousand coins, uh, pretty easy. Now that's what you're that's what you're exchanging towards when you do the get a player method. So uh, that's gonna be it for the get a players. Um, and then, then there's also you know just buying and flipping cards. I've gone over that before, but uh, people still ask about it. So let me show you. Uh, so like if you have eighty six overalls, you got to filter it down, of course. Um, so let's see, like a a good program here would be. Probably the legends. There were legend eggs. There were ultimate legend eggs, stuff like that. So there's 6,300. Um, and then I'm just gonna go to all offense, all defense, and switch kind of back and forth. Um, so if you can, if you can look at them here. So they'll sell, 
if you can list them for 6700 they'll sell for 6700 because this is their unfiltered price um, when I talk about unfiltered price that's just not when it's just when they're not all the way filtered down so they'll sell for a little bit more uh, you just have to wait longer to sell them uh, here is their filtered price of so 6100 um, they'll sell you know pretty quick pretty quick if you're listing them for under these prices uh, so all you, all you do is you just sit here and, and you're gonna snipe these pieces here um, this is just what I what I call work in the market you're just kinda going back and forth um, going between cards uh, maybe you check the 88s and 89s um, you can sit on one card specifically if you want to you can um, move around I like to move around from from promo to promo but just sort of doing these things if you can get like 89 for 10k you're gonna make like an instant you know two three K profit um, these are this is what I'm talking about about work in the market this is what you this is what I would do if you had a, a medium amount of coins so um, let's see has say you have 150 to 350 K coins um, now then when you get to the build up to the more expensive ones you know like the 750 K coin stack million coin uh, stack then you want to be start making some investments here uh, the investments that I'm gonna recommend are just the lowest training investments um, so sniping 96s and 97s um, let me tell you the exact prices on those right now it was even lower but it, it has gone up a little bit but uh, let's see 98s right now at 200k are 2.9 coins for training um, so what you really want to do is like the 97s for 117k are 2.4 coins for training um, the 96 is at 89k or 2.5 coins for training the 95s at 55 to 6 let me see 60k at 60k are 2.3 coins for training um, 94s at 45k are 2.4 coins for training so any anywhere in there uh, so 94s for 45k 95s for 60k 96 is for 89k 97 for 117k 90 and then just stay away from the 98s right now unless you have huge amounts but uh, any of those are going to be going to be good prices. So again, you would have to come in quality. You filter down. Um, you can just go by position if you want to. Uh, I know 96s. I need to get them at 89k or less. 90k is pretty close. So I would actually probably go ahead and buy that. But um, you're just kind of sorting through work in the market, and this is what I mean by work in the market. So um, these prices will go back up. Uh, I bought JJ Watts earlier at 40k a pop. Uh, he is now 70k so that's already 23 sorry I dropped my phone that's already 23k profit uh, per card um, which you know it's just in, insane profit that you can make uh, people ask is the market going to go back up yes the market's going to go back up um, but even if it only goes up to four coins for training if you're buying uh, say you're buying a 95 at 60k it's 2.38 coins per training uh, it's 25,000 training per 95 so if training goes up to four coins per training uh, that would be a hundred thousand coins after taxes 90,000 coins you're making 30,000 coins per card um, so the more you can invest at this price the better um, and if worse comes to worse you have training that you can use for the next promo as well uh, it's not really possible for these cards to go much cheaper than what they are now um, I know for a second they were, but that was because of the re release of all the eggs. Um, for about a half hour to an hour they were. But there, there's no way without something like that, like presents, um, you know, eggs, that kind of thing, for that to happen again. Um, so that that's what I recommend. If you have higher, higher coin cards you're investing, um, you can buy some cheap training, do some more reroll method, that sort of thing. Uh, just keep building up your training and your candy. Um, and that's that's the main thing uh, so there's some little bit of stuff to do if you're smaller to medium uh, and then the main things to do when you have uh, bigger coin stacks with, with stuff to stuff to invest in so um, that's that's it that's kind of the the market update for the day uh, but I I really appreciate you guys man uh, thank you to everybody that came by for the Easter stream that that was pretty fun uh, I usually stream later on at night so it's cool to see some some new people in there um, but but thank you guys uh, so much for all the support. We we have hit 750 subscribers, so now we're just going to be uh, pushing to a thousand. So if you guys aren't subbed, um, please please drop a sub. Um, and if you if you watch all the way to the end here, go ahead and, and leave a comment. Uh, 
just tell me tell me that you did tell me you made it to the end uh, because the comments help push out the videos and and i just i can't thank you guys enough man i, I appreciate you guys uh, happy easter take care peace Well...